So peri peri chicken, we want it spicy, we want it garlicky, we want it lemony. So we're gonna chuck all of that into a blender and make our peri peri marinade. So we're gonna start with three or four spring onions, white and green bits, four cloves of garlic. I've got three red bird's eye chilies here. Um, you don't have to put three in, you can adjust it to your liking, but in they go. Got about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of oregano. Got a tablespoon of paprika. About a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of salt. About half a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon of black pepper. We've got the zest of one lemon. We've got a couple of tablespoons of white vinegar. We've got the juice of three lemons. So I'm just going to juice these in. You want two or three tablespoons of hot sauce. Um, you can use sriracha, you can use cayenne, um, any hot sauce, one of your favourite hot sauces. So go ahead and just chuck a couple of tablespoons of that in. And lastly, you want around 100 ml of olive oil and blend. And this is the consistency we're going for. You see, it's not gone to a fine paste. We've got a few little chunky bits. That's perfect. So now let's show you how we prepare the chicken. When I'm making piri piri chicken, jerk chicken, um, I like to get the marinade into the chicken as much as possible. I like to make some incisions in the chicken to get the flavour in there, but also you get more charred crispy bits. So all we're going to do is take a sharp knife and we're just going to run along the legs and then into the breasts. So into a dish with the chicken. And now we're going to use this marinade, we're not going to use all of it, we're going to save some of this because um, we're going to brush this over the chicken. But we're going to start underneath, so just flip that round and we're just going to pour some of that over the bird. Now you can leave this overnight or you can cook it straight away. I'm going to cook this straight away. Um, it's still going to taste absolutely banging whether you marinate it or not overnight. So there's your bird I'm ready for the grill. So our grill's up to 200 degrees Celsius. We're going to go ahead and get the chicken in. I'm cooking this in my Kamado Joe Classic. If you're using another grill, just get it up to 200 degrees. And we're going to be cooking this indirect. So all we're going to do is just take this chicken, place it on the indirect side or if you're using a Kamado, just place it on the grills with your heat deflectors in, bone side down. And that is it. We're gonna pop the lid down and leave it for half an hour before we start applying layers and layers of the marinade. That's my dish of the week, spatchcock piri piri chicken. Let's take a look, see how we've done. So you'll notice, lovely char on there, the leg just comes apart, just like that. You can see, nice and juicy, lovely charred skin. Perfect. So let's slice in, take a look, see how we've done in the breast. Remember we've cooked this, to 70 degrees Celsius, we've let it rest, it's come up to temperature to 73. We're carving there, and just take a look at how juicy that chicken is. Absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. 